I like boys who read books. <laughs> Probably books with plastic covers on them, because this means they came from the library. I met a beautiful, blonde-haired, blue-eyed Adonis at my gym a while back, and I had always written him off as one of the pretty but dumb ones. That and a sneaking suspicion he might have been on steroids. Until I saw him reading a book, a book with a plastic cover on it, nonetheless. He was waiting for the J outbound at the Venice Muni station. And when I saw him reading a book that he checked out from the San Francisco Public Library, I just began to fantasize about a future together. <laughs> um, you know, on Bravo TV, we will be reality television stars, the gay, new, the gay newlyweds of San Francisco. He's going to be the tall, popular hot jock, and I get to play the nerdy, eccentric girl, but who's really a diamond in the rough, right? And we're going to be the perfect couple. There must have been a connection, because he gave me his number, and I texted him for a date. I was going to make him my uh, secret sauce marinated, then baked, then deep fried spare ribs. Uh, I wanted to win his heart and his mind, because that's how I roll. <laughs> and he texted back, I actually have to be in New York for a funeral next week. I swear, I can just strangle the passive aggressiveness that passes for masculinity in this now. <laughs> My days were kind of a blur after that. I would get stoned, and I would walk along the Crystal Springs Reservoir, Wondering to myself if I was rejected or if his non-committal answer signaled a possible interest. <laughs> what does the word actually really mean? <laughs> yes. He could have just texted back, I have to be in New York for a funeral. But the, the amount of energy it took to text this precious eight-letter word <laughs> Well, he had to have been somewhat interested, right? <laughs> and so the more I thought about it, the more it seemed to me like the word actually was kind of a flirt. You could almost picture her with one hand on her hips, her right eye arched ever so slightly as she smiles mischievously and purrs, actually, I am worth the chase. <laughs> the definition of, ab of actually an adverb is, in fact, in reality. It is a word pregnant with possibilities, for <laughs> the need to emphasize actually is really saying, girl, it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Thus, actually could be used to express a sense of the unexpected, a wonderment at uh, the reality being different from the situation imagined. Actually can give hope to what was once hopeless, and it could just as easily extinguish one's lofty dreams. Actually, you're not my type. <coughs> yeah, come to think of it, actually is kind of a bitch. Either way, you're not going to get what you wanted. <laughs> yeah, couple this meaning along with actually's usual companion in the sentence structure, the curvaceous and sensuous comma, and you begin to see Ashley as both an attention whore and a tease. <laughs> the, comma, the comma instructs you to pause. As a member of the adverb family, Ashley's role in life is to add emphasis for effect. Ashley is like the pretty yet accessible girl in high school. She gives just enough signal, so we all think we have a chance with her. <laughs> the comma is her chubby girlfriend who follows her around. <laughs> actually travels with her own posse. <laughs> Sometimes, though, actually is just used to express, express a sense of incredulity, a moral outrage at the absurdity, absurdities in life. And I say this following, I say the following with utter conviction. Can you believe that lying, no good, sack of shit actually thinks she's fit to be president of the United States? <laughs> <laughs>
in the movie Love Actually, the word <laughs> the word is used to emphasize the overarching theme of the movie. That in reality, it was all love. Even when you didn't think it was love, that's what it was. The movie <laughs> insists that we go through life enveloped in love, actually. <laughs> it's in the miscommunications, the, the wandering heart, the unfailing devotion of a good friend, the wife who discovers her husband's affections for another woman. Always somewhere, someone is thinking of us. Jesse Jackson once said to keep hope alive in defense of affirmative action. But when you like someone, hope is like Abu Ghraib, because you endlessly torture yourself with the what is, if onlys, and actuallys. It's been two years, and nothing ever happened. He moved to New York, and there are some days where I don't think about him at all. But then there are some days where I still actually still see him at the Venice Mini Station, waiting for the J outbound, reading a book with a plastic cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.